Hey guys, my name is Funpuro. Season 12 is fast approaching and it's already been heard that there are nerfs to Immortal Shieldbow. Currently, Immortal Shieldbow gives 55 AD, 20% attack speed, 20% crit chance, and 10% lifesteal. The main passive will give you a shield that can take in 300-800 damage based on level. The mentioned changes in patch 12.1 are set to be a 5 AD nerf down to 50 AD and a shield strength nerf down to 275 to 650 damage absorbed. So what does this mean? Let's first examine the AD nerf. It's a 580 drop. At first that could potentially be something to scoff at, but it might be a lot bigger than you think. In order to understand what this nerf does, we need to apply attack damage and attack speed in tandem. Think of AD as a rate equation, Y equals 55X, where Y is total damage done and X is number of auto attacks. Say you're an AD carry who does many times in a team fan, let's say 20 autos. That means that if you're a damage to target with zero armor, you'll be doing 1100 damage. And this is only with a mortal shield bow, we're not including base damages, and this is pre-nerf. Once a nerf goes through, if you apply 20 auto attacks worth of damage to a target with zero armor, again keeping the other conditions constant, you will now be doing 1000 damage. So. That is a 100 damage difference in this specific context. Now we need to consider the context of the entire game. Imagine all the autos that AD carries produce, or the amount of autos that attack speed champions produce, such as Yasuo and Yon, when they have a moral shield boat complete. All these champions have their damage decreased by a decent amount. Then there is also the nature of health regeneration and resistances, which already play a role in the mitigation of your total damage done. Now let's review the shield changes. So the shield strength is going from 300 to 800, down to 275 to 650. To help visualize this change, here is a graph of the original and nerfed shield strength values, showing the relationship between level and shield strength. You also can see the corresponding values based on level in pre-nerf and nerfed versions of Immortal Shield Bow. You can see that overall the shield strength is lower, but that was kind of obvious just reading the changes. What is the context of this nerf? How does this nerf impact the game? Well, having overall less shield strength does increase the vulnerability of your champion. There's also the nature of items like Serpent's Fang, which will further mitigate the shield strength that you obtain. I felt that the reason we built Immortal Shield Bow was to increase their survivability and as a result give the champion more time to damage a target. But by lowering the damage output on the item, as well as decreasing that level of survivability granted by Immortal Shield Bow, the item was hit with a pretty decent nerf. What are the significance of the nerfs? I feel that the damage is pretty significant considering the amount of attack that you'll produce in the duration of the game. However, what about the shield strength? Looking at the differences at level 18, it is a ruby crystal's worth of shield strength lost, which is equates to 150 health. Let's say that you're an AD carry who may not build any armor items and pure damage. Let's say Draven. Draven has a base armor value of 85.1 at level 18, this means that damage to Draven will first be multiplied by 0.54 and then applied including to shields. Um, this means that with the nerfs at level 18, Draven would have lost 277.65 worth of incoming damage or of incoming physical damage and survivability. This means that it has lost pretty much an auto attacks worth of damage by 80 carries in terms of absorb damage. Draven also has 38.1 base MR and if he doesn't build any additional resistances and full damage, level 18 it would mean he would have 38.5 MR. This means that incoming damage is multiplied by 0.72, and as a result, the nerf will have caused a loss of 207.75 damage absorbed, which is most likely one basic ability. I would say that the damage nerf was decently big, but the shield strength nerf isn't that big. The item is not dead, it was just a tweak. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below what you'll see next. Make sure to check out my brand new Discord server linked in the description where you can interact with me and other members of the community. Also, thank you guys for watching and have a great day.